This is exercise 4-6-A. More text editing. In this case we will be creating a new text style. Before I create a text style, I use dynamic text to just enter a piece of text to show our defaults. This is our standard text style. These are AutoCAD defaults. Now we're going to take a look at creating a new text style. To create the style, you begin with the style command, or the ST hotkeys. AutoCAD presents the text style dialog box. Notice that you have an annotative and a standard text style already. We're going to create a new style, so we'll start with the new style button. We'll add a style. In this case, our style will be called Times. Now to define it, we'll move over. We'll select a font. In this case, we're going to scroll down until we find the Times New Roman font. And that will be our definition. Now, now we can change some of the properties of our style. We can make it annotative or we can write it upside down or backwards. We can set it in column style. We can set our paper text height. We can set our width factor. We can set our angle. If you're going to draw isometric text, you would set the 30 degree angle in the angle box. The width factor should remain at 1. Occasionally you will find it difficult to get a piece of text in, you can get away by making it 15 sixteenths or even 7 eighths. We're going to apply this, this style, which means that the next time we do we enter text, we will be using the time style. Close the box, and now I'll enter some more text. AutoCAD is asking me if I want to set an annotative scale, an annotative scale, and I don't really need to. I'll accept that. I'll pick a start point for my start for my new text. I'll accept the defaults and enter the name of my new style so that you can see the difference between AutoCAD standard style and the time style that we just created. 